Hey everybody, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. And we're the Drama Mamas. This week we are taking on Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And there is a lot of bang. Not for Harry. Not for Harry. <laughs> not a lot of banging. Well, there is a lot of bang for Harry, but not the kind he wants. <laughs> right, right. There's a lot of banging. Okay, so please silence your cell phones. Viewer discretion is advised. And now, your feature presentation. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Uh, this was my selection. I like this movie a lot. Uh, it was made in 2005. It's an American neo-noir black comedy crime film written and directed by Shane Black, who also wrote uh, Lethal Weapon. Oh, yeah, he's that's like interesting. A buddy cop-ish vibe. So it stars Robert Downey Jr., Val Kilmer, Michelle Monaghan. Uh, the script is partially based on the Brett Holiday novel, Bodies Are Where You Find Them. Of course they are. Where else right. would they be? Uh, let's see. So Shane Black did, uh, like I said, he did Lethal Weapon. He also did wrote for Predator. Uh, the he helped write the Monster Squad, which I'm not super familiar with. Yeah, I'm not super familiar with any of these, but potentially they could be future movies, <laughs> right? And he also did. Um, the Last Boy Scout, The Long Kiss Goodnight. Oh, I've actually heard of that one. But Kiss Kiss Bang Bang was the first movie he directed. And uh, his most notable work since then has been Iron Man 3, which oh, I really like. also liked. has RDJ. Yes, yes. I think he writes really well for Robert Downey Jr. He has a... I think they might have a similar... Relationship to Tim Burton and Johnny <laughs> Depp. We yeah, keep, well, I we think keep they have a similar their voice, relationship. maybe. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, he okay. just writes really well for that dry Humor. bullshit. Yeah. So, Robert Which Downey I Jr. Which I appreciate. Right. Well, he does it well. He does it well. Uh, he has 90 IMDb credits. He was on SNL. That's really interesting. He has the lowest amount of IMDb credits of... I mean, obviously, this is the only... I can't speak. He has less than uh, Val Kilmer. He has the least amount of credits of, of the, the people, people we that about. we talked about so far. Well, the first people started in 1975. Film. That's that's true. <laughs> that's true, to be fair. But he's also probably the most recognizable. Yes. Yes, that's fair. He was in SNL for one year, and the cast that he was in also had Joan Cusack, Anthony Michael Hall who plays the nerd in all the 80s teen films, uh, and uh, John Lovitz and Randy Quaid. Okay. He was in Weird Science and Chaplin, which I believe he got a bunch of awards for in Chaplin. And then he had, like, a bunch of drug problems in the 90s. Of course he did. Who didn't have drug problems? I mean, I didn't no, no, have no. drug had, problems like, in the 90s. He serious drug problems. Because I was a kid, but... <laughs> uh, and then... He eventually got fired from Allie McBeal as a result. Oh, dude, I that. remember Allie McBeal. I didn't realize RDJ was in there. Mm, well, apparently not the whole run. <laughs> not for long. And he got sober in 2003 and began to rebuild his career. So this came out not long after that. Yeah. And he um, probably, because th- it came out in 2005, so this is probably one of the first projects mm-hmm. he did. He also did a Scanner Darkly, which I don't know. Have you ever watched that? Mm-mm. It's like this weird animated film. It stars Keanu Reeves as of well. Of course it does. <laughs> it's really good, though. It's about drugs. Of course it is. <laughs> it's good, though. Like, seriously, you should check it out. Um, and since he's gone on to be Iron Man and Sherlock Holmes, and my favorite Jeez. of his recent work is Tropic Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> I know who I am. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We're hey. going to get some bad comments for that one. Oh, uh, no. Tropic Thunder is an instant classic. And if... <laughs> shut up. This is my second <laughs> glass of wine. I've already finished my second glass of wine. I'm thinking about going for a third. <laughs> Do it. So, Val Kilmer has 96 <laughs> IMD cre- IMDb credits. I love him. He was Doc Holliday in Tombstone. Oh. He was Batman in Batman Forever. The one with Riddler and Two-Face. Yeah. He played Which Jim Morrison. Arguably, 
probably was not the best Batman, but I really like Val Kilmer. I liked him. People so hate on Bill I Kimmer, like him. Yeah, I liked his Batman. Uh, the Ghost in the Darkness is a movie. I don't think it's like a big movie that he was in, but it was really good. It's like... I feel like I've heard of that movie, but I don't feel like I've watched that movie. It's good. Um, it's He was also in The Island of Dr. Moreau, which there's a documentary about how that movie was made, and it's kind of crazy. Okay. It's called Lost Soul, The Doomed Journey of Richard Stanley's <laughs> Island of Dr. Moreau. That makes me think of an Indiana Jones title. <laughs> yes. It's very long. And, it is very long. Uh, he was in The Saint, which I really liked when I was younger. Mm. And uh, he was the voice of Kit in the reboot of Knight Rider, the mm. last of the season. And apparently he was in MacGruber. I did not watch that, but I did enjoy the skit when it was on SNL. <laughs> it was really funny. But And, you know, uh, Ryan Felipe is in the movie. So you'd think that I would have seen it like a thousand times. You would think. So, Michelle Monaghan, uh, before this, she was in Unfaithful and The Born Supremacy. And then she was in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And since then, she's done Mission Impossible 3. She apparently appeared in Mission Impossible 4. Really? Briefly. And she's rumored to be in, like, the next Mission Impossible. I guess they're making another one. Oh, okay. She was in Gone Baby Gone. She was in True Detective. She's really good in that. She plays um, Woody Harrelson's wife. She's Harmony in this, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. So... The only thing I think I've seen with her in it is this movie. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Like, I mean, she reminds me of the the daughter in Father of the Bride. Like, okay, they just like there's something about them that I find similar. She now remember this. I'm two glasses in, Mm -hmm. and I'm about to get a third. And these are big glasses. But don't blame the classes. The whole time, any time that her boobs were on display, which is a lot in this movie, right? All I could think of was, man, those boobs are small, but they're like good boobs, right? Yeah, they're she, really they're good not boobs. big, but they are well, they're formed. well made, <laughs> well made boobs. Good job. She's also in the path, which is on Hulu right now. I've tried to watch it. It's like about, I think about a cult, and <sighs> she's got like. Her husband is cults. leaving the cult, and she's, okay. like, really invested in it. Uh, and I, it's got the guy that says bitch all the time so from... she's um, crazy. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, this movie came out in 2005. The highest grossing films in North America were Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Oh, I, so my 15th birthday is when that came out. Oh, really? Yes, and we definitely went to the theater because I'm a nerd. <laughs> Luke and I saw that in theaters together. That's crazy. I was 15. This was like the year of non And you guys non- saw each other, saw that together in the theater. Yeah. We've been together too long. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, mm. and Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Mm. So These like a are lot all, of um, very big, yes, big high films. budget, yes. And then the Oscar winner that year was Million Dollar Baby. I didn't watch that. Oh, God, it's so good. You need to watch it. Okay, we will. Notable news. The video sharing website YouTube was founded. Oh, shit. In 2005? Yep. That's crazy. I yep. feel like YouTube has been around for forever. forever. Like, the same as Google. I'm like, Google's been around forever. Uh, Pope John Paul II died. Over okay. 4 million people traveled to the Vatican to mourn him. The IRA announces an end to armed conflict okay. and gives up its weapons to independent weapons inspectors. And Terry Schiavo, do you remember that news story? That was the woman that was in the coma and her husband wanted to like. Oh, the and the parents were like, no. Yeah. That, that was a big here. deal. That was, it was big deal. like everybody that had was, opinions about that. That seems like I guess it was a long time ago. Yeah. But she was, she had been in a eight year coma before that. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. So it's on the record. Mm-hmm. If I am ever in a vegetative state, just pull the plug. Cut the cord. Cut the cord. If there's a chance that I may come back and I'll still have my brain, you know, give it a minute, but. I say if, if chances are under 35%, like, pull Like, just the plug. pull the fucking plug. I like, don't want to like be a vegetable. Like, I feel like 40% or more. I don't like, even, like, really like vegetables, so don't leave me like that. Don't. Um, 
President George Bush acknowledged he had personally authorized a secret eavesdropping program in the U.S. following September 11th. Wah, and Microsoft wah. released Xbox 360. There are some good games on the 360. I did get a little bit of trivia on this movie. Did Johnny you? Knoxville was set to star as Harry Lockhart. What? Yes. No. Before being replaced by I RDJ. I would not feel the same way about this movie, I feel like. This gets so much better. Warner Brothers was willing to produce the movie with a larger budget if Harrison Ford was to play the detective. When he what? passed on it, several other options were briefly considered before Val Kilmer offered, was offered the role. So Harrison Ford is and gay, Perry. Yes, Harrison Ford no. and Johnny Knoxville. That would be, a, that's even more obnoxious than we are. Like, I don't know. Like, I almost want to see that. I love the these two together. I feel like I, they're perfect. They have really good chemistry. Yes. I love how little Fox Val like, Kilmer has to give. Oh, yeah, no. Val Kilmer times. doesn't care. Val Kilmer's like, I'm fucking Val Kilmer, dude. Like, <laughs> right? I'm, what do you want from me? I have a lot of lines, and almost like, all of them are his. He's that, like, I'm Batman. <laughs> Come I'm at me, bro. I'm gay fucking Perry. I'm gay fucking Perry. Yeah. I'm knee deep in pussy. So, because I've seen this movie several times, I <laughs> was, like, taking notes, and I kept <laughs> putting... This will be plot relevant. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sarah's Rocky Horror. Yeah, like, like I've it seen came it a out, lot. It came out much later, but in regards to... My um, affection for the film. The affection and, and the number of times that we've seen it. Mm. As Sarah had only seen Rocky Horror twice, this was just my second viewing mm-hmm. of Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. So... I'm going to be honest here and say I quit taking notes about halfway through the movie. It's a movie you have to pay attention to. But I have a lot to say. (laughs) (laughs) And on that note, I'm going to get some wine and Sarah's going to edit this out later. Maybe. (laughs) So, we start by seeing Harry, Harold the Great... Harold the Great. And his assistant, who is selling the hell out of his act. Let me... (laughs) The very first note that I took literally just says, little girl is a total asshole. (laughs) (laughs) Like, what a fucking kind. She had one job. (laughs) She did it well. She did it well. And it earned her an epic backhand. (laughs) I love yes, the cut on that. It's so just like abrupt and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Then they have credits with the cool cartoon they and do. the big band. And mm-hmm. it's very like James Bondy. It is very James Bondy. Then we cut to the Christmas party. Which, by the way, there's a Santa hat floating by in the pool in case the Christmas music mm. and every fucking other mention Christmas of lights. Christmas in the movie didn't let you know that it's Christmas mm. time. Just FYI. Just FYI. It's Christmas. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. is doing a voiceover. Mm-hmm. He provides amazing commentary. Yeah, that was my third note. Love RDJ as narrator. Yes. I love how he shits on his own narration where he's just like, oh, fuck, I forgot something. Right? He's like, like I know uh, that's written in, but it's like, really funny. He's like, I'm such a shitty narrator. Sorry, <laughs> I'm such a shitty narrator. <laughs> When they do the flashback with the kids, and he's just like, Mom and Bob, like, let's just get them in the center of the frame. Fucking move. You're like, right. it's- hey! <laughs> hey! <coughs> Who told you to stand there? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> so we see Gay Perry. He's yes. gay. He's gay, in case you missed that. And then we have a flashback mm-hmm. uh, to how Harry got here, which is hilarious. It's very funny. I wrote down I that I thought it was funny that nobody in the audition noticed that he had a fucking bullet hole right. in his arm. Right. He's fucking bleeding out. He's about to pass He's out. Method. And they're just like, you're so good. You're so good at this. So they mention he's robbing a toy store. They mention that Protocop is old news that the show has been canceled. Two that years. That comes up later. Two years. That yes. does come up later. So the alarm goes off, they run, lady pulls a gun on them in the alley from her apartment. Right? What the fuck is this lady doing? Is she the owner of the toy store? I don't know, but... Is that why she's like, wait a second? (laughs) Hold it right there. His partner is shot while waving an empty gun around. 
saying, it's not loaded, as he gets shot in the chest. Harry flees. He runs into <laughs> that's a casting our first, ball. That's our first bang. Right. That's the first bang. <laughs> I did not keep track of the bangs, but there I There were do. several. There are a lot, yes. So the script is about a guy who just lost his partner. Mm-hmm. He goes full method and nails it. Of course he does. Cop busts into the audition. <laughs> he says, good luck. <laughs> right. And yes, tells him good luck. Walks um, So then we introduce Harmony. Mm. And she has a lot of feelings about Rudolph and race relations. She does. And it's hilarious. Which, when you think about it. Yeah. I mean, she's not fits. wrong. She's not wrong. I mean. Oh, it's yeah. It's really you don't... easy to make fun of that argument, though. It is really easy to make fun of. Then we flash back to Indiana because RDG is a horrible narrator. Yes. And, uh, oh, no, 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 that's not yet. So she is smart and reads mysteries, the Johnny Gossamer books, which mm-hmm. are not appropriate for kids based right. on the very little bit on she reads. the covers yes. alone. So her dad apparently molests her sister. Yes. Harmony splits for LA when she turns 16. Yes. So then RDJ comments uh, on his own commentary about how he mentioned the protocop, but then he didn't actually tell us what happened. So then we flash back to just like a week or so ago. Right. And the guy that played protocop in the full get Protocop. <laughs> which is Robocop. Costume. I mean, I yes. think we can just say it's Robocop. He's Robocop. Yeah. So he had broken into Harmony's apartment and was... Eating her cookies that she had baked. And beer. Like and she a left, Dos Equis beer. It looked like she left cookies and beer for Santa, but we're still several days away from Christmas. It's not clear. It's really weird. <laughs> but she startles him and he falls off her balcony. <laughs> yes. And Did you? There was something written on the back and I tried to catch it. Written on the back of what? On the bat. Oh, the bat. the bat. No, I didn't. Oh. I didn't notice. It's oh. probably plot relevant, though, because there's, Fuck. like, a ton of foreshadowing I in this movie. I tried to catch it, and I couldn't, and I was really disappointed in myself. <laughs> so then she's on the news. Somebody sees her on the news, and they're like, she's hot. Get her right? at the party. Right? She's hot. Let's right. party. I-, I love the... <laughs> when he's just like... Uh... It's just like the 1960s Playboy, where it's, like, kind of... In sh- Why the fuck am I talking to you? Like, get her at the party. Like, right? he's like, really... He's they only never, in two scenes, but he's very funny. They never show below the waist. Right, right. On the news, they talk about the actor that played Protocop had been despondent since the show got canceled. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so Harmony finds a Johnny Gossamer novel at the party, falls asleep while she's reading it. Yep. Douche enters. Douche enters. Yes. Uh, that's our second instance of sexual abuse yes. innuendo. Yes. And he tries to pull up her skirt, her skirt, and Harry sees it, and he calls him out, and he's like, "Very noble, super, yeah, knight in shiny armor." Mm-hmm. And he, the guy says that he's gonna fuck him up, and Harry gets really smart. And I tried to type the retort because it was really <laughs> smart. Like he was just like, "No, you'll try," and that failed experiment. Well, and that's all I got. Yeah, and it's very just like snappy. And then, and the next then scene, it cuts. <laughs> To Harry getting the literal shit kicked out that of him. Are, that's the words that I use. The <laughs> shit kicked out of him. <laughs> because that's what happened. Yes. He does fuck him up. Boom! Gay Perry. Yes, enter Gay Perry. My favorite non-RDJ character <laughs> in this movie. He, <laughs> he asks if he's really gay. And Gay Perry says, no, I'm knee deep in pussy. I just like the name so much. I couldn't get rid of it. (laughs) Uh, Spoiler alert. He's still gay. He's super gay. And he's Val Kilmer, which makes it really funny. Yeah, because he, like, he plays gay really well. He did. But he's not, like, he's not that overly... He's not effeminate, really. No, he's like I'm. I'm like the pitcher. Dick. I'm yeah. the pitcher. I like Dick. What up? It is what it is. So they um, set a date for surveilling someone t- the next day, mm-hmm. and then they meet the host, who is Harlan Dexter. He's hosting the party they're at, mm-hmm. and uh, that will be referenced later. Did. He look. Who is he? Uh, some old guy. I don't know. I feel like I've seen him in like mm-hmm. Law and Order or some such shit. Probably he's one of those people that's been in everything. Yeah, 
They mentioned that his daughter was in Paris for 10 years and mm-hmm. she is recently back. Mm-hmm. They say three months ago she was suing him for millions and that is plot relevant. And suddenly she <laughs> she's not. not. They love each other. <laughs> it's great. Gay Perry talks circles around Harry. He mm-hmm. is way better at wordplay. He's yes far superior, yes. He just talk like literally talks circles around him and... So he sends Harry to the domino room to find Harmony because he says they've worked together and that's a place that she goes to. Yes. So he goes there. And we meet Flicka. Flicka, yes. Who has cute ears. Apparently. I I wrote Flicka flicks right off. Right. She, she's, she's just like, what do you do? She, I'm a PI. I'm a stewardess. Bye. Bye. That's it. He's like, cool that's it? She's you. like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, we're done. Yeah. I'm not uh, no interested. Interest. He approaches Harmony, strikes up a conversation. They have this really funny thing where they make fun of people. I mean, that's yeah. basically what they're doing. It's really funny. Bitchy but... friend walks up, tries to cut it short. Yeah, and she is a super cunt. Yeah, like, she's Jesus. like, obviously, they're having good conversations. Yes. Why are you vibing. cutting in on that? She just... I, I You're think, a bad wingman. I think I said... Wing woman. That Harmony's friend shows up Cock blocks. <laughs> cock block. Yes. So Harmony. <laughs> Super cock blocks. Yes. Harmony reveals that she knows Harry from Embryana, Indiana. Blah, blah. And <laughs> who <laughs> let's let's go back for a second. Whose slogan is when in doubt, cut up a pig. What oh, the Embry, actual Indiana? <laughs> fuck is that? I really? Don't know. Oh, Indiana. <laughs> I've um, never known you, and I hope never to. I don't think I've ever been in Indiana. I can't. I if I have, I have, it wasn't memorable. Then they revealed that he was the kid mag- magician, and she was his assistant that got backhanded. Yeah, if you've forgotten, she's the asshole kid. Right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> she's so, still an asshole. He was super into her, which is why it doesn't make any sense that he didn't recognize her. Right? Like what the All fuck the way is through that? high school. Like at the end of high school you pretty much look right. You just like become what you an like. older version of yourself. Exactly. You just get wrinkles and maybe get fatter. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna like gloss over that. He invites Harmony mm-hmm. and bitchy friend back right. to his hotel for a drink. It's not Mar- going to take Marlea. long. Marlea. Mm. Yeah, we'll that's, later. She, her name is mentioned one time in the whole movie. So mm-hmm. she's just the bitchy friend. She's the cock block. She's nothing. She tells him about the Gennaro's commercial. Yes. Which, which has the excellent line, I people. prefer Gennaro's. But I'm a bear. What do I know? I bite the heads off fish. <laughs> I suck the heads off suck. fish. Okay, I my bad. suck the my heads bad. off fish. But it makes it better. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm not buying your beer. <laughs> That's disgusting. What do I know? <laughs> I'm a bear. Harry and Harmony are flirting. He wakes up next to her friend. Right? What the fuck? And Harry? gets the fuck out. Like, he does not. He's like, oh, I didn't mean. Mistakes have been made. He's like, I didn't want to sleep with you. <laughs> so he's knocking on Harmony. Harmony's door. She's annoyed with him. It's 6 a.m. Yes. He insists that he couldn't have fucked Marlea because he, <laughs> he was, was too so drunk. drunk to remember. So how could he possibly get it up? Exactly. I mean, that's sound logic. It is. But I don't believe you. Harmony slams the door in his face. <laughs> and because I've seen this movie several times, I am programmed when Harmony slams the door in his face to expect calamity. <laughs> But it was the wrong door slamming. <laughs> wrong one. Right. So now we're on day two. There are many door slams in this movie, just like there are many bangs. <laughs> oh, he lights up a cigarette. I wrote down, yes. I was like, was smoking still cool in 2005? Like, well, it's, I don't think I know anybody now. I, I know claim, very few people who smoke cigarettes. I can't claim to be a noir, like, aficionado, but, but I feel that's like that's like a noir everybody, thing. everybody, detective... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I can see that, but I, that's all I could think, because now when I see people who smoke, I'm like, oh, it's gross. To be fair, I used to be a smoker. I quit. How long have Zach and I been together? Uh, like six plus years. I don't know. A little over six years. I quit right after we started dating because mm-hmm, he said you couldn't. 
And you have a, Yeah, because I, I do. <laughs> Don't tell me I can't do something. I'm competitive as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I I was actually smoking in 2005. Uh, I was, depending on the month, I was 14 and or 15. Nice. <laughs> right. Probably 14 since I've got a later birthday. So based on my younger self, smoking was still cool in 2005. 2017, Vicky says, smoking's not cool. Now when I see it, I'm like... I'm like, oh, why are you doing that? Like, do you know what that does to your health? Like, what are you, what are you doing? Oh, and at some point, like right after this, I realized that uh, Perry and Harry rhyme and it made me laugh. I was like, oh, why did you do this? (laughs) So they are surveilling together. Surveilling, yes. Yes. And surveying? <laughs> no, they're surveilling. surveilling. How okay. dare you? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> How dare I? Harry won't stop talking, <laughs> which Perry loves about him. Uh, uh, he tells yes. him how Johnny Gossamer stories are always two mysteries that dovetail into one. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> that shit dun, is dun, plot dun. relevant. Plot relevant. Perry tells him about his gun that's good for two shots, and then you have to <laughs> drop it for something better. Drop it for something better. He calls it a specific term. I don't think we're going to use that word. Yeah, like... I don't like it. I don't like um, it either. He uses it a lot. He does use it a lot. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. If you can't, watch the movie. It's worth yeah, the watch. Yeah, you should have watched it before you listened to this You anyway. definitely should have watched it before you listened to it. Because um, we're telling you fact, everything. fact... Go ahead and pause this, watch the movie, come back. We'll wait for you. We'll wait for you. Perry tells Harry about Allison (laughs) Right? It's funny. It is. Who paid by credit card. This will be referenced later. Harry tells Perry that Harmony fucked everyone (laughs) except his best friend. This is like, why is there so much slut shaming in this movie? Well, I There's don't think, so many instances. Like, I wrote she it never down, like, actually three shows times. shame. She's no, like, she, she owns it. doesn't show shame. But everybody else is. But like, RDJ what a is slut. like, why are you fucking so many people? Joe Chutney. Why do you let right? Why do you let people treat you like this? You're not a whore. Yeah. Well, I think it's intended to make him endearing, but yeah, it's a little but slut shaming. It's kind of you. You know, you can say it once or twice. Two thousand five was a different time. It was. I mean, it kind of it was. was. It was longer ago than I want to think to myself. <laughs> Harry fucks with Harry. Uh, he t- says the you thing can't about say anything anymore about their names without being like <laughs> it know. rhymes. That's well, funny. he says the thing about how she opened the door and the only thing on was the radio. Yeah. And- and he's just like, are you serious? No, fucking no. It was by phone, by credit card. <laughs> and they see some weird shit. And then the car drives away. They lose the car only to see it speed off a cliff and into the water. Harry runs to the car. Perry tells him not to bother. Perry gets a body from the trunk. Right. Which, what happens here? Harry's like running. Well, he's committed. Me, and then Perry's the just wine. like, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. I'll just do it. <laughs> <laughs> right? He's like, I like, feel like that's what happened. He's like, excuse me, I'm a much bigger man than you are. Right, he's like, go for the Let keys. Let me handle go for the, this. Uh, you're, fuck you. So, <laughs> but I'm kind of like that. I'm just like, don't do that. Don't do that. You're doing it wrong. Right, you're like, um, actually... Person. Let me just handle this. I can do it. <laughs> I, I do everything better. <laughs> so... She thinks. <laughs> Harry runs to the car. Harry tells him not to bother. Harry gets the body from the trunk. He has to shoot the lock to get her out. <laughs> they found the dead bitch. Right. Her neck is broken. Harry spots two guys watching. He yells, yells at, at them. them like a fucking He's idiot. He's like, hey, we have a dead body down here. You guys are wearing ski masks, but I'm right. sure you're friendly. Yes, you want to help us. <laughs> uh, Perry tells him to shut up. Shut Harry, up. <laughs> Harry's just like, I have to go. I have priors and throws the gun in the lake. Right. What the fuck? fuck dude which leads to another one of my favorite interactions between the two of them where he's just like look up idiot in the dictionary do you know what you'll find my picture picture of me no no the definition of idiot which Which you you fucking are are. yeah it was great (laughs) also uh they argue and harry tries to correct him for the use of badly which he was corrected by harmony yes 
in a completely different context. Completely different. Context. And Perry says, what? He's like, I'm not a fucking idiot. Let me correct your grammar. Oh, wait, I did it wrong. He's like, what? Fuckhead? Badly's an adverb. Who taught you grammar? <laughs> he asks who taught him several things throughout the movie, and it's very funny. Yes. Harry gets a call that Harmony has shot herself. Dun, dun, dun. Harry has very little sympathy and drives away. <laughs> he, the only thing that could have made that better for me is if Val Kilmer would have been like, hey, man, I've got to go. And RGJ was like, okay. And then Val Kilmer just drove yes. off and RDJ like fell, fell backwards into the street. Yes. He's just like, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. And then, <laughs> and then he, he shoves him, him and he's like, I've got to go. <laughs> they show the Gennaro's commercial. Yes. Which is hysterical. Cheesy. And then Harmy shows up at his door. She's what the very fuck? Upset. She's not dead. Yes. The dead girl was her sister. Ooh. And she asks if Harry is a PI. And he lies and tells her, yes, he is. Of course I am. She doesn't believe her sister killed herself. Uh, she took her birth control. That's like her big. Right. Like, that's her red flag. If you flag. were going to kill yourself. Why, why are you, you going to waste your time? Exactly. Don't take your birth control. Like, I'm not going to kill myself. And I forget to take my BC all the time. Harry is distracted by damn boobies. Damn boobies. I wrote down more nipples. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We see her nipples. A Several lot. times. Uh, let's see. Her sister charged $2,000 to Citron something. Oh, at some point. At some point, Flicka gets brought up again. Oh, does she? She does, because... Oh, Flicka uh, told her that he was a PI. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I wrote down, I wrote down, Flicka gets brought up again. What the actual fuck, Flicka, you're a horse. Shut up. What the fuck kind of name? Oh, it's a horrible name. <laughs> I, I think that's the point. I'm sure. I'm sure. Here he says that he will help Harmony, of who then passes out. Of course she does. Then we have the spider incident. The spider incident. And then we have more borderline slut shaming. Slut shaming. They disagree on what is and is not okay. Mm-hmm. And who should or should not be on the hook. Mm-hmm. Um, he finds a corpse in the bathroom. He pisses on <laughs> he it. He pees on it. <laughs> And freaks out and calls Perry, <laughs> who says, no, I asked the questions. Well, I am perfect hell. Would you pee on a corpse? He says, he says, do you have gloves? <laughs> Boy, y'all both already touched his body. Yes. Not just that, but You've he says. You already touched uh, it. Harry says, do I need special gloves? And he says, yes, fun. <laughs> God, I love Perry. Ooh, I do too. Um, he instructs him on getting rid of the body. And he tells him to find the gun because there is going to be a gun. Of course there is. And there is. And there is. He finds it. Harmony misleads the cops. Perry passes her on his way up. And Perry and Harry. They do not see each other. No, no. He avoids her like he covers his face. Mm Mm-hmm. Harry takes the body up. They drop it off the roof, <laughs> which it does not fall in the dumpster. It, it doesn't. hits the dumpster and falls to the ground. It falls to the ground, still perfectly wrapped up in the blanket. Yes. They didn't well, use Well, they wrapped tape. it nicely. They are professional wrappers. It I, is Christmas I, one time. One of them probably worked at Taco Bell at some point. You learn to wrap shit tight <laughs> when you work at Taco Bell. I'm just saying. Sarah knows. I she know. She worked there for a while. Yeah, I thought in outside the bun. School. She thought outside the bun. <laughs> I'm taking it back. So, uh, <laughs> Harmony will... Oh, wait, wait, wait. So then they are putting the body in the back of the trunk, and to distract the cops from the body... <laughs> they kiss. They kiss. And Harmony walks up. <laughs> and then, like, RDJ is, like, gagging and trying to make himself throw up and mm-hmm. shit. And I'm just like, dude. He says the word, it's this is every shade of wrong. Every shade of wrong. And immediately, 50 shades of gray <laughs> popped in my head. And I was like, this is 50 shades of wrong. That's hilarious. And then I laughed to myself because I'm stupid. <laughs> Perry tells Perry to cover for him because he's lied to Harmony. And Perry... <laughs> Does not believe that the little sister was murdered. No. Punched her own ticket, I think is the term he <laughs> used. They drop the body on the street. They do. Day three. Where it is found, and somehow they're not tied to it at In all. In any way. Yeah. 
Well, they think it's a kidnapping gone wrong. Yes. They know she was murdered at a different site and then brought and dropped. Right. So Harmony tells Harry that she told her sister, Harlan Dexter, the actor that played Johnny Gossamer, was her real father. But at the time that she tells him this, she they didn't don't realize it was Harlan Dexter. Mm-hmm. No, just the guy that played Johnny Gossamer. So Perry calls... They watch the news of the body being found. Mm -hmm. Um, The Dexter Clinic is mentioned, which will come up later. It's plot relevant. It is. The uh, daughter was 21 years old as of yesterday, which I think is also relevant. Something to do with her um, trust fund. Uh, I completely missed that part. Yeah, um, they said that she was 21 years old yesterday. I didn't pick I up thought, on trust fund anywhere else, but that feels like a trust fund. I thought they had fact. said that she was 25, but I could Oh, they might have said 25, but her birthday was the day before. It was the and day she before, just turned. definitely. Whatever she turned. Yes. 20-something. Uh, they announced that the body was Harlan Dexter's daughter. Yes. That is verified by dental records, scars, whatever. Everything. Um, Perry She's tells... definitely dead. Yes. Perry tells Harry that the killers were at the party, and that's how they ID'd him, and tells him that Colin Farrell wanted too much money. Colin Farrell wanted too much money, and they were just using him, and he'd better get his ass back to New York. Side note, what is his backstory? How did he go from being a fucking magician in Indiana to fucking small-time thief in New York? These are the real questions. (laughs) I need answers. Yes. Let's write to Shane Black and ask him. Yeah. You know, there's some What's actors that What's his email? Require... Somebody tell me what his email is. Yes. Let us know. We'll email We him. demand answers. <laughs> we'll call him. <laughs> this movie you made 12 years ago. I need more backstory. Harry hits Perry. Mm-hmm. Perry tells him that Harmony knows he's not a PI mm-hmm. and tells him to go home. Mm-hmm. Which he complies. He starts to. Yeah. And then we fucking see Flicka again. Her cute ears. Her cute ears. Side note, I wrote this down. With her hair up, she looks a little bit like T. Swizzle. Yes, she does look like Taylor Swift. I I knew that she looked familiar, but until you said that, I hadn't placed it. A little bit like T. Swizzle. She mentions that Harmony's stage name is Allison Ames. Which is a big deal. Yes. So that is the name that was on the credit card that paid Perry to survey the survey the big surveil. <laughs> yes, I started. Oh, and you taking... also hear that uh, Perry's business is called Cint- Cintron Incorporated, which we had heard before. We had heard that before. That's true. Perry loses his finger in Harmony's door. <laughs> Let's hold on. Harmony slams her door in his face. Again. And cuts his fucking finger off. How hard are you slamming that door? What workout are you doing that you can slam a door hard enough to cut somebody's finger off? That's yoga, man. You know what? I bet she's into CrossFit. (laughs) Of course she is. I bet she does all the CrossFit things. Let me show you how to squat properly. (laughs) Harmony goes to work. Leaving Harry at the hospital. He goes to meet her. He is high on painkillers. He is high on painkillers. Harmony has a Johnny Gossamer movie on VHS. <laughs> but it's named Lord, Lord of, of the, the Cock, Cock Rings. Rings. <laughs> beautiful. Harry insults LA women. Saying, all of them. All of them. Yes. I wrote down. I was like, oh, hey, more slut shaming. Yes. And then Perry shows up and expertly avoids a thrown drink at his head. Right? I was like, that didn't hit a wall, but the glass fucking shatters. It, like, hit the bitch behind him, but she didn't even notice. (laughs) What the fuck? He says, you've got 30 of my fucking seconds. Thrill me. Thrill me. They watch the Johnny Gossamer movie. They see Harlan Dexter starring. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, it's all coming together. The sister had thought Harlan Dexter was her father. Because Harmony told her that lied to her because Mm -hmm. the sister couldn't deal with their own father who was sexually abusing her. Yes. And so she told her, hey, that's not your dad. That's not your dad. Your dad. He's a good guy. He was in this Johnny Gossamer movie when they came through fucking Indiana of all places. Yes. Uh, Perry leaves because he has a job at the park. I don't yes. remember the park. It's not important. He has to follow this chick. Yes. With pink hair. Which 
looking back now, is obviously a ploy to get rid of Perry. Uh, well, I mean, it, it's a lot of things. But yeah, getting rid of him is one thing. But it also sets up, like... Everything. Everything, yeah. <laughs> All the dominoes are beginning to fall. Everything. Harry gets picked up by the Ike, Mike, and Mustard guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ike, Mike, and Mustard. Yes. Like, no, like, I'm with him. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what? Harry is interrogated. He gets away. Uh, Harmony sees his captors and follows them instead of going to the hospital for his poor hand. Of course. Because his finger is not attached again. Um, oh, because of his uh, meet up with Ike, Mike, and Mustard. Yes, exactly. Where Part they of the interrogation. Ripped his fucking finger off again. Harmony wants to save Perry. She sees the trap that has been laid for him. Mm-hmm. She pulls over, leaving Harry in the car. Telling him he can go to the hospital. So when all this is over she and she comes back, she thinks <laughs> drugged and bleeding <laughs> and says, you can drive yourself to the hospital. I don't think anything <laughs> spells out friend zone <laughs> like this scene. But she's just like, you can drive yourself. You're OK, so right? I'm going to save Gay Perry. Afterwards, she just assumes that he went to the hospital. She doesn't think anything else has gone amiss. No, he's totally cool, dude. She pulls over, she leaves Harry. Um, She tries to save Perry by calling out. She gets attacked. She knees him in the balls. She knocks him out. She has... uh, Tybo. She's doing something. She could have shot him. But she doesn't. But she doesn't. Which, I mean, I think if you put her on the D&D alignment chart... Yeah. She has clearly not, she's not evil in no, any sense of the word. No, she's not, um, no, she's not. She's um, probably, like, chaotic good. Chaotic good. She's, like, she I don't think she has a, a set lot of, rules, of so I don't think she's lawful. No. She's, like, all over the place. She just wants what she fucking Yeah, wants. I could see that. I don't even think she's neutral, because I think she just, yeah. Like, she's not trying to do stuff that's bad. Mm-hmm. She's trying to do what's right. I don't... She's probably the only person in this movie who doesn't actually kill someone. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) She saves Perry uh, by accident. She trips, the gun goes off, (laughs) and sets off a series of events... Which ends in <laughs> the hot dog guy. Let's the see what fucking hot dog guy. The food truck guy. Yeah, he's a food truck guy. Uh, goes full Second Amendment and starts <laughs> shooting. I wrote down. I wrote down. I was like, "Is this in Texas? Everybody has a fucking gun, <laughs> right? Everybody. It's L.A. <laughs> what the fuck?" So the pink haired chick runs she jumps into harmony's car with harry in it yes and speeds he's away passed out in the back yes. because he was not capable of driving himself to the hospital <laughs> which harmony should have known she should have but he's so deep in the friend zone who yes, cares so deep uh harry wakes up in a strange place and walks around right he's like hey what's up he hears voices and slides under the bed uh two voices girl is freaking out about all the shit that she's seen Mm -hmm. she gets shot and sees harry as she is dying Mm -hmm. harry crawls from beneath the bed he grabs the gun he shoots the guy five times five times i counted because i thought it was like twice no 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 he shoots him five times and the guy's like oh you're a big man well apparently he was (laughs) right he loses his finger the dog eats it. Yes. And Perry calls. So before Harry leaves, he wipes off his fingerprints with his sweatshirt and puts it in the dead girl's hand. Yes, so it to looks like they shot each other. Stage like a murder suicide. Mm-hmm. Here's my thing. How fucking stupid are these cops? No, no, no. I think he wants it to look like they shot each other. Well, where's the second gun at? Because it was all with the same gun, and that bitch got shot in the head twice. He's in shock. He's very clearly in shock. She got shot twice. Yeah, maybe he is trying to do murder suicide. He's like, I I, I said murder very strangely. Murder. (laughs) We're in the south. (laughs) (laughs) The news talks of newly found bodies Mm -hmm. and how they are presumed to be the Dexter kidnappers, the Veronica Dexter kidnappers, and. We think that everything's tied up nicely. Yeah, like they're uh, Harry, Perry, and Harmony are talking, 
And but they are still like talking about the unanswered questions. They are the, the few things that don't quite add up. But Perry's like, nah, let's leave it alone. Right. We don't want to open this can of whoop ass. Mm-mm, we're good. Harry and Harmony have a moment. She comes to his room. They are drunk. They are drunk. He recalls the body he and Perry found, and Veronica Dexter wasn't wearing any underwear. And Harry mm-hmm. and Harmony end up in bed. <laughs> they kiss. She confesses she slept with Cho Chutney because she wants to be honest with him. That is a deal breaker. She's 34, right? She left when she was 16. So that happened 18 years ago. Deal breaker. Deal breaker. He kicks her out. He loses his mind. Uh, She checks her pockets. She has an epiphany. She calls Harry to ask if Veronica Dexter was raped, which she was not. He's like, no. You slept with this guy. <laughs> Fuck you. He hangs up. <laughs> you slept with Cho Chutney and then he just hangs up. Um, so now we're on day four. Yes. Perry is waking Harry up. Harmony has solved the case, but he cannot find her. How is everybody getting into fucking Harry's hotel room? <laughs> Why does everybody have a key? You know, I never really thought about it. This doesn't it. make me feel comfortable. Right? Like, I'm never staying at the standard. No. First of all, all their signs are upside down. Right? What, what the, the fuck, fuck is that? Uh, I don't... Maybe that's, like, a thing. Maybe that's a real hotel. <laughs> They're like, this is the standard for the standard. Right? Everything, Everything is upside, upside down. down. Perry gets Harry. Harmony has solved the case. He can't find her. He's worried. Harry recalls what he told Harmony, and... Uh, the panties bit hits the mark. Yes, that gets That is Harry's. a hard thing to read. <laughs> so um, they go to the Dexter Mental Health Facility. Yep. They meet a crazy lady who also wears no underwear. <laughs> and they figure that... <laughs> and she gives no fucks about just nope. dropping her drawers in said? front of everybody. She says somebody They took, took away my crickets. Yes. Uh, Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain took away my crickets. Yes, that's what she says. <laughs> what? I wish that uh, she had said somebody that looked like one of the Ike Mike and Mustard guys so that yeah. we could maybe have a tie-in, but I don't think no. it is. I think she's just crazy. Yeah, she's, she's Looney Tunes for sure. So they deduce that Veronica Dexter was a patient there, and mm-hmm. Perry explains that Veronica in the news was not the real one. That the real one had been in this facility and someone had been masquerading as her. Yeah. Yes. So that she could withdraw the lawsuit. So they walk out mm-hmm. and immediately get caught. Of course they do. Perry easily gets the gun from their captor. It was really smooth. If you've not watched this movie again, I urge you to turn this off and watch it. Yes. Uh, he says, this isn't, you're not getting it. This isn't good cop, bad cop. <laughs> and he this says, is, this is the word we're not going to use. Right. And New Yorker. And that line is so funny. It he delivers it funny. perfectly. It's very funny. Uh, they, Harry and Perry argue. That line is in my notes several times because they bicker like they bicker. an old married couple. They do. Harry plays Russian roulette. Yeah. He doesn't. I, I mean, I guess depending on how you look at it, he either doesn't play it very well or he's really, really good at it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> depending. He shoots the guy in the head. What's funny is he's like, you answer my question. And he spins it. And he's like, where's Harmony? And he shoots. Like, he doesn't even give the ch- guy a chance. He doesn't. He just shoots and boom, guy's dead. Yes. He's super dead. Um, and he's like, oh, fuck. And Perry's like, what the fuck? Why did you put a live round in there? It's like, there was an 8% chance. 8%? Who taught you math? So we need to know who taught him grammar and who, who taught, taught him, him math. math. Because they're fired. And in perfect timing, after he shoots the guy in the head, Harmony calls. Of course. She was just working and unreachable in yeah, the Yeah, she figured that her hunch at solving the case was wrong mm-hmm. and she would just go work. Right. Like you do. I mean, like she needs to make money. Right. She's got a $2,000 credit card bill. Right. Card and is maxed out. Those interest rates are high. Right. Harmony calls. Perry gives her instructions. Harry hides the body and turns around to find out he and Perry have been caught again. Again. This time by Harlan Dexter. And his goonies. Yes. This, his goon. Uh, <laughs> his goonies. He was in an, uh, a season <laughs> of 24 and he played the brother of like this drug kingpin from okay. Mexico. 
And he was like the hothead, and he was in love with this girl who was in love with Jack Bauer, as they all are. Of course. And he, her name was Claudia, but he called her Claudia. Claudia. And he was always like Claudia this and Claudia that. And so, like <laughs> when I saw him, I immediately was just like Claudia. <laughs> it's just a side note. Side note. Harmony calls and covers very well with her carpet cleaning service. She does. Uh, Harry and Perry get interrogated. Perry gets to his little gun and shoots the interrogator. Not before Harry gets some <laughs> shocked balls, though. Stop helping. Stop helping. Stop helping. Perry is, like, antagonizing the guy, trying to get a reason to put his hands in his pants to get his gun. Right. And so he's fucking with the guy, and the guy's, like, getting really angry, and he keeps, like, shock- shocking. My words are slurring. I swear to God, this is not strong wine. But, um... No, it's keeps just shocking. Moscato. We're just a bunch of lushes, apparently. Oh. Uh, so he keeps shocking him. Yes. Because he's getting angry. In the genitals. And Harry's like, stop helping, stop he's helping. like, stop. Uh-huh. And then once he shoots him, he's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's a very manly, like, yeah. I'm sorry, that was probably Yay. really loud. <laughs> uh, Harmony steals the van that has the body in it. That they are going to yes. cremate to eliminate all. Somehow, she gets into the van yeah, she closes, literally just runs up. Closes the driver door. Starts nobody it. hears her. Starts it and drives off. And that's when the bad guys are like, oh, fuck. Well, maybe the car was idling because they were about to leave. Could be. That They're like sense. rock, paper, and that's scissoring one less who step has to drive the van. Like, <laughs> Who fucking cares? Right. There's a body in there. I was making notes as this was happening, and it happens pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Uh, Perry calls Harmony. She plans to pick them up, Mm -hmm. but she's being pursued. Harmony is run off the road, and the coffin gets caught on a road sign. It does. With an arm hanging out. With an arm hanging out. That's important. Mm -hmm. Shots are flying all around. Harmony is knocked out. Mm -hmm. Perry gets shot. The bullet goes through him, and it hits Harry. Yeah. Perry appears dead. He does appear dead, which and it's makes very me sad. really sad. Harmony calls Harry, and she does her whole, like, Oh, Harold the Great, please save me. With all please. your might, save me from this terrible plight. It's, yeah. It's very Some cute. It's a like callback to when they were kids. Yeah. If you pay attention to that first scene, right. you'll remember it in this close to end scene. She calls Harry. She does that whole thing. Harry gets the gun. He starts shooting. Like a madman. He shoots Harlan but Dexter. first, he gets knocked off the bridge. <laughs> That's right. And he's hanging onto the coffin. Hanging onto the arm. And the gun slides. Yeah, that's right. The gun slides down. He catches it. He shoots Harlan Dexter. Then he shoots the <laughs> car that's been fleeing. Harlan, Harlan Dexter, before he goes down, he references something about, you are the magic man or <laughs> yes. some such shit like that. So he lands on top of the car that yes. he shot. More shooting takes place. Uh, he gets shot again. Uh, I think it's his second shot because he gets shot when Perry gets shot, and I think he, he gets shot, get shot again. Does he? Maybe not. I'm not sure. But he gets to Harmony. Yes. And she notices that he was shot, and he shows her that it's all fine. That the book stopped the bullet, and then they both notice that yes. the book has a hole in because it because he happens to be carrying this fucking Johnny Gossmer novel with right. him. Right, but. It didn't stop the bullet it because there's a hole in it. So it's a it paperback, just, y'all. It's not going to stop a bullet. It slowed the bullet, if anything. Yes. Um, And also, <laughs> I'm kind of mad that he's not actually dead because that shit should have pierced his fucking lungs or something. his heart. Or well, he could have a collapsed lung. And he still could. Okay. He could. That's true. But he passes out. We hear sirens. Mm-hmm. It goes black. It goes black. So Harry wakes up in the hospital. Harmony is there. Perry shows up, and they make a really funny joke about how if they're going to bring back the guy that clearly died, they should bring back everybody that died. So, like, the pink-haired girl comes in, Harlan Dexter comes in, Abe Lincoln comes in, Abe and at the very end, Elvis. Elvis, Which yeah. is such a funny thing. And gag. they immediately, like, push him out. They're yes. like, what the fuck are you doing here, Elvis? Nobody invited you to the party. There's no peanut butter and banana sandwiches. <laughs> Perry tells Harmony that her sister really did kill herself yes. when she saw Harlan Dexter sleeping with who she thought was his daughter. It was because too much for her. How could she go from the father she really had? Yes, the only to thing that was keeping her grounded 
was knowing that she had a father that would never do that. And, and she perceives it as him doing it. Exactly. Which so, is really unfortunate. She she kills herself. Birth yeah. control or no birth control. Doesn't matter. Take uh, your she pill every day. had hired Perry to catch them in the incestual act. Yes. And Harry and Perry have a heart to heart. And then we go to our epilogue, which is Perry and Harry going to Harmony's sister's funeral yes perry tells off harmony's dad slaps the shit out of him him like twice right twice or three times Twice. and then we see the Gennaro's commercial with the actress that harmony called sad who we did the bar we didn't call her out earlier no she said she was sad because she was 35 and it was over (laughs) it was over but she's 34 right so she's really just like oh god Um, Harry reveals he's taking, uh, he's talking a year later. So yes, a year has passed. Perry shows up with a beard and busts Harry's balls. Harry works for Perry now. Yes. And Perry says, for all of you good people in the Midwest, sorry we said fuck so much, which is another classic Perry line. And, um, that's that. And the credits roll. The credits roll. So, so that's the movie. What do you like or not like about this film? I love Val Kilmer. (laughs) Yeah, I would say that it's hard because the MVP, I feel like all three of the stars are so good. They worked really well. They vibed well well together. together. Yes. Yes. (laughs) We're like on the same page. See, when we have wine, that's... We're just... What happens? Garlic aioli. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so, uh, I... I don't know that I can give, like, an MVP. I don't right. think I feel like the team... It was a team be, effort. Yeah, without any of the three. Right. You couldn't replace any Mm-mm. of them. No. I like the banter in this. I like how I intricate like how the mystery is. I like it is. Mm-hmm. I appreciate the dry humor, Mm -hmm. the witticisms, the sarcasm. That's stuff that I, like, thrive on. Mm -hmm. So I I really dig that. Um, This is a movie I think that you can watch four times in a row and notice something new in each one because there's so much foreshadowing. There's a lot. And so much payoff that, yeah, it's hard to catch it all in one viewing. There's a lot happening. It's just very um, well written, I think. It's not something that's super easy to watch and take notes on simultaneously. That's true. And, like, you couldn't check Facebook or Instagram no. while you're watching. Like, I mean, you really you need could, to pay attention to this. But probably you should You'd shouldn't. miss a lot. You'd, you'd get to the end it's and you'd very be like, quotable. What? what the fuck did I just watch? The, like, Luke and I bring up the Gennaros. Like, what do I know? I'm a bear. I suck what the heads off fish. I'm a bear. Yeah, we say that line a lot. And I was um, about to do the wave, and then I remembered nobody, nobody can, can see, see us. <laughs> um, the <laughs> why in blue, per- blue perfect hell would you pee on a corpse? Yes, that line is hilarious. Pretty yes. much anything Val Kilmer says in this movie, just is about quotable. everything he says. Yeah, there's very few things. Really, there's just like a couple lines where it just has a word that I don't appreciate. Right, and so I wouldn't quote. Um, but you know, mm-hmm. that's just me. Yeah, this personally. Is a good cop, bad cop. <laughs> oh god, that's such a good line. So, what's the verdict? I, I love this movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't have, you know, this was just my second time seeing it. I enjoyed it probably as much as I enjoyed it the first time. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't have a whole lot of complaints. I wish that there would have been some more of uh, Harmony's titties because they're really, really good. They boobs. were. They're like, really they're good. good boobs. And she's I, like. They're she's not even really like. Pretty. She is really mm-hmm. pretty. I do think it's a little ridiculous that they expect us to believe her and Robert Downey Jr. are the same age or close to the same age when they are clearly not. Here. Okay. I've got one thing. One thing I'm legitimately mad at in this movie. Mm-hmm. What the fuck with. Robert Downey Jr.'s eyelashes. Did you notice those? Mm-mm. They are fucking incredible. They do not belong on a man. They belong it, on no, my but that's face. Like, that's his eyelashes, though, right? 
yeah, it's not a problem with the movie, but Jesus Christ. Well, you know, when he was younger, like, it always looks like he's wearing a lot of makeup, and I don't he, think he is. He's I think just, he's just... He's a, he's a good-looking man. Even yeah. as an older man, he I love is him. not ugly. Like, I especially love him in this role. <laughs> like, there's he's just something like, about goofy, the wisecracking. He's kind of charming. Yeah, but, like, in an awkward, he awkward. talks too yeah, much kind of way. Yeah, super, like, he's socially awkward. Mm. He's frequently, he like... A room. Yeah, he's frequently like, oh, I want to be the good guy. I'm not going to take advantage of anybody. Right. You know. But I steal shit. But I steal shit. That's a little incongruous. I'm wearing a stolen watch. <laughs> it's cool. It lights up. Icebreakers. I wonder if they paid to be in this movie. Right? Because, like, there's a <laughs> shot of, like, a bunch of icebreakers. Icebreakers, yeah. I think this this is a good movie. If you like mysteries, if yeah. you like dry humor, if you like black comedy, if you like things that people like. Right. If you like RDJ. If you like nipples. If you like nipples, this is a great movie to watch. It's a great movie. If you like uh, gay jokes. <laughs> there are a lot of gay jokes. They're good gay jokes. You know, uh, He's I like, didn't write this down, but when, I remember reading who this. Who was it? Who was it? Was it RDJ who said, don't quit your gay job? Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. You know, Robert Downey Jr. was getting sober. He had just, he wasn't, hadn't been sober that long when no, he filmed this. Uh, Val Kilmer, like, didn't drink while they were filming, like, in solidarity. That's sweet. It is. It's weird because he got an, a reputation for being difficult to work with. He did. He and, did. I mean, I don't know if he was just humbled by that, by people not wanting to work with him because of his reputation or what. Or but. if maybe people just didn't like him and they were That's like, true. fuck you, you, your shit to work with and I'm going to ruin your fucking career. Or, like, it's possible that his actions were in response to something else that is unknown. You know what I mean? Totally could be. We can only speculate. We don't right. know. I think the verdict is we both like the movie. Yeah, I you enjoy it. it. Uh, you sh- actually should it's have already not, seen it. You should have already seen it. Because <laughs> if not, It's spoilers. not something... Right, yeah. You're sorry. We've ruined the entire movie for you. Um, actually, I'm not sorry because you should have known. <laughs> Yeah, this is episode two, guys. Like, like, get with it. Get it together. We're starting to crawl now. <laughs> <laughs> Contact us on social media. Yes. We have a Facebook page. It us. is the Drama Mamas yes. podcast. We have a Gmail set up, dramamamaspodcast at gmail.com. Yes. We would love your feedback, even the negative stuff. Even the negative. Doesn't mean we're going to change. We're from the um, South. We don't like to change. We're from the South. Yeah. We we're, still drink sweet tea. We're, sometimes I'll drink sweet tea. But it has, tea. To, it has to be like real sweet tea. Right. Or if this so, shit's got to like, have It tastes like, different if you add the sugar, sugar in after you put ice in it. It does. It does. You know how you're supposed to make tea? <laughs> I like how we're going into this. You boil your water with your tea bags. Mm -hmm. You put the hot ass tea in the pitcher. Mm -hmm. You put the sugar in the hot ass tea. Yes. So that shit dissolves. Yes. You add your water. You add your ice. You're good. I'm with you. We, my husband, Mm -hmm. because he drinks it, is really into, um, what is it that Walmart sells? Mike's? Mike's sweet tea? Something like that. It's in a gallon jug. We just buy it. But the point of this is that we're Southern. We're not going to change in your comments. Well, we might change. It depends yeah, on I mean, what we your comments get better. are. We want We're millennials, but we're also Southern. So, yeah. like, it's a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's some issues. <laughs> Underlying issues. We want to change everything and change nothing at the right. same time. Um, you know, things we, to change without us having we to totally want your constructive criticism. Mm-hmm. We totally want, like, if you want us to do certain movies, or especially, genres. especially if it's something we've never heard of, it's going to be really hard to get something that Sarah's never heard of. But, I don't know about that. but you know, also like if we have brought a movie to your attention that you were not aware of or had not seen, and you watch it because of us. And tell want, us yeah tell we would us. love to know we would love to know what you think of movies that we've talked about or that would that be someone, amazing anyone is listening. anyone anyone is listening to us um, we would love to hear from you so anyway rate us on whatever like i guess whatever iTunes. platform i guess it's itunes i mean we've not actually posted anything yet yeah so i'm not entirely sure how to get on itunes but if we're on itunes give us five stars what up <laughs> 
<laughs> I like how the only option is five stars. Five stars I mean, or nothing. Five stars or bust. <laughs> and as always, remember to save the drama for, for these, these mamas. mamas. Next week on the Drama Mamas. Like there are They're couples. like brother and sister. They're worse than brother and sister because brother and sister still have chemistry. Ugh. What up, Cersei Lannister? <laughs>